Today, the AG Bill Barr now selecting Connecticut U.S. Federal Attorney John Durham to lead an investigation into the origins of the Russia probe. Former Congressman Trey Gowdy had a lot to say about this last night on Hannity. If this is the right person to do it, more power to them. There's an easy roadmap to follow, Sean. We know the origins of the Russia probe, what Russia did to us. I want to know the origins of when the Bureau began to intermingle the Trump campaign with the Russia probe. Bring in House Minority Whip Steve Scalise from the North Lawn today, sir. You're at the White House for a reason. We'll get to that in a moment, but thank you for your time today. Great being with you. Good morning. What does the move by Bill Barr tell you, sir? Well, it tells me that he's serious about cleaning house within the FBI uh, and dealing with those bad actors. There are some people over there, most of the FBI agents we know do great work for our country, but there were some who were politically motivated and they were carrying out their job not in what was best for the country, but in what was best to pursue their own political agenda, and there's absolutely no place for that within the FBI. Well, Trey ranks. Gowdy just said it's an easy roadmap. Do you think so? Well, I know we've laid out a lot of it in the investigations we've done, and I associate myself with Trey's remarks because he headed the committee and did a lot of that work, and we saw a lot of that. I read some of those reports, and it was very disturbing when you looked at the abuse of the FISA court, when you looked uh, at the very nefarious nature about which, which this entire investigation started. It was clear that there were some people over there at the FBI that didn't want Donald Trump to be elected president, and they were using their position to try to stop him. That cannot be tolerated in America. This is not how we run our country. Do you know John Durham, the attorney from Connecticut? I don't, but I've heard good things about him, so I, I just hope that he carries out his job and follows the facts where they lead. Okay. Trey Gowdy, at the end of that soundbite we just said, he wants to know when they mingled with the Trump campaign. It's largely thought this all began in July of 2016. Do you think it happened before then? Well, we'll find out when it happened, but we knew that there were a lot of uh, communications with political uh, entities. The Democrat Party was behind some of the uh, the information that was gathered. That was the basis for the investigation, and yet that wasn't presented to the FISA court the way it was supposed to be. Uh, all, that, all that ought to be looked into because those would be clear abuses of power, and anyone who abused their power in a government position ought to be held accountable. Well, there are at least three investigations underway now, and a fourth headed up by Lindsey Graham. What do you think of that? Well, ultimately, it's about accountability. You know, if somebody did something wrong, if they abused their position of power, uh, they ought to be held accountable. And I think people just expect that. They don't want to see witch hunts, and they don't want to see the federal government uh, using its power in a way to go after and target American citizens, especially a candidate for president of the United States, because they disagree with that person's political views. That goes against everything our country was yeah, founded upon. I understood upon. the point you're making there. Just back to the question, or maybe there's another way to frame it. Do you believe this administration is going on offense in a legal sense now? Well, I think you're seeing the Justice Department go on offense to say, let's clean up the bad apples. If there are bad apples within the organization, they need to be cleaned out. And let's go restore the integrity of the good work and men and women of the FBI and the job they do for our country and make it clear that if you want to go to the FBI or any intelligence agency, you're there to go and represent and defend this country, not to carry out your own political agenda. Right, two more topics quickly on China. Do you believe this is considered a trade war? Would you phrase it that way now? Well, look, well, we've always been in a trade war with China. I think President Trump's really the first one to finally acknowledge it and confront it. I would like to see it addressed quickly. Uh, we all would, but at the same time, uh, China's been cheating. They steal intellectual property. Uh, they don't play by the rules. And so having a trade deal that actually not only puts rules of the game in place that can be enforced, but then to have an enforcement mechanism uh, is critical for our economy and to make sure that our allies around the world also want that same so confrontation with China. You just said we're always, we've always been in a trade war with China. I, I don't know if a lot of people will look at well, it that way, but clearly you do. Well, China's always cheated again, on the rules. I mean, they've, they've not played by the rules for, for a long time. As long as people have been following the way that China operates, uh, they play by a different set of rules. And, and frankly, when you're, when you're dealing with uh, trade negotiations and trade deals with friends or with uh, people who aren't maybe as, as close of friends uh, as others, uh, you still have to be able to play by the rules and trust that the other person's doing the same thing and okay. treating you fairly according to those agreements. Sir, last topic. You're on board Air Force One in an hour or so going down to your home state of Louisiana. The topic there is energy. What are you trying to say? 
Well, President Trump's coming down to see the Semper Energy facility. Uh, it's one of these massive LNG export facilities where we're able to showcase how American energy is helping our friends around the world and creating great jobs at home. Uh, this is a multi-billion dollar privately funded uh, facility. In fact, t today they just announced that they're making their first liquefied natural gas, and then that will be exported around the world to our friends. And by the way, all of our friends in Eastern Europe and other parts, even in Japan, that have to get their energy from Russia and don't want to have to get it from Russia, can now get it from America. And this is one of those facilities that showcases how America is not only creating jobs at home with energy policy that makes sense, but we're helping our friends okay. uh, to pull away from Russia. Sir, thank you for your time. Have a good trip. We'll watch and wait for the president to leave there from the White House. A good day to be a duck there at the White House, it looks like, with that weather down there. Same hey, up go here Tigers. The Steve Scalise, thank you for your time.